Hey YouTube, it's Raven, back to provide you with another right on time word from the Lord. And the word is, Christian women, God wants to set you ablaze. So, with all prophetic words, make sure you take them back to the Lord to confirm they are for you. How will you know this is for you? You're a Christian woman and you want to serve the Lord with your whole heart. Okay, so this, this prophetic word is going to benefit any Christian woman in the body of Christ. Okay, so fellas, this word isn't for you, but it could be for your wife or for your daughter, or maybe the Lord is sending you this video so that you can send it to the Christian women in your life. Okay, but unfortunately, no, it's not going to be for you. Okay. All right, so how did I get this word? So back in April, I started hearing the song, Turn the Page. So when I hear that song, the Lord is saying, new chapter, new season, okay? Just simple as that. And I decided that I wanted to celebrate this new season by getting a new shade of lipstick. At this point in my life, I had one tube of lipstick that I had gotten from my friend Oz. Shout out to you, Oz. She gave me this really nice MAC lipstick a couple of years ago, and it was just a really nice, neutral, good shade, okay? And I loved it, and I wore it like every time I got dressed up, I would put on my, my lipstick, okay? And while I done worn that lipstick out, so I went and I was gonna get a new shade. I said, I just wanna get a new shade of lipstick. Like I was, at this point, I'm starting to come online more, and I said, I just want like a nice shade. And when I got to go, when I got to the store to pick out the lipstick, the Lord said red. He wanted me to get a red color. And I said, N what? So to let you guys know, a little detail about me, I actually am not the biggest fan of the color red, especially wearing it. I am a very neutral, I all my clothing, very neutral. My gym clothes are all very plain, basic, boring colors. They're like how I dress in normal real life, very just plain Jane, okay? Not a lot of color, that's just who I am, all right? So he's saying red and I'm saying what? He said, yeah, I'm gonna need you to get red. <laughs> so I said, okay. So I pick out a red color, the one that I have on right now, actually, okay. I pick out this red color and I said, okay, it's not like over the top. It ain't no ruby woo, <laughs> but it's red. Okay, so I got the red. So the, the name of this lipstick was called Chili. I don't know if you guys can see that, okay. It's MAC. So the, the lipstick that my friend got me on, she got me MAC. So I was like, well, I better go get a MAC. Once you go Mac, you don't go back. <laughs> I'm actively, ladies, ladies, I'm actively trying to find better lipstick lines that I can get behind and support. So if you are a woman and you make your own lipstick as a Christian woman, you have your own line, link that below, send me your products, let me advertise for you. Or if you just know of something, because I'm not gonna forever wear Mac. That's something I'm transitioning out of right now. Okay, but this was also a really good, this was my first chili was my very first lipstick prophetic lip shade so if you guys follow my channel my lip color is always prophetic whether it's the number or the name of the lipstick there's a reason why I wear the lipstick okay it's it's kind of cool so that was the very first one so after that chili so then I start seeing chili everywhere the Lord speaks to me he's trying to get a message to me he's gonna repetitively say something so he's like chili I'm seeing chili everywhere red hot chili peppers TLC you know band member chili okay getting random stuff about her <laughs> So then I get, I go see my sister and her, her daughter, Presley, is playing with like this toy chili. What? I mean, how many, how many of your kids have toys that are chilies? Okay, that's what I mean. The Lord, it, it's so funny when he's repeating stuff because it's just so random. Chili. Because Presley, she's going to be a girl on fire too. Amen, Press? Future girl on fire. Amen. So, I don't know if I said that. Did I say that? I had to redo this video. So... I get kind of confused on what I said, what I didn't say. The title of this is Christian Women, God Wants to Set You Ablaze, but I'm going to be referring to you guys as the girls on fire, okay? Like, you're going to be the girls on fire, so maybe there was confusion there. I just eliminated it. We just squashed the confusion. Okay, so I'm getting that, and then I start getting the song Girl on Fire, okay? So by Alicia Keys, I'm getting the girl on fire. So the Lord is saying, chili equals hot. I said, okay. And then he goes, hot equals fire. Fires are hot, Raven. And then I'm getting the song, Girl on Fire. And he goes, I want my people to be hot for me. I said, okay. So he's going to keep continuing, or my Christian women to be on fire for me. So hot for me, like burning, burning fire. Okay. So then I get the song, Girl on Fire at 2.22 PM. So 2.22 in Strong's Concordance. So Strong's Concordance 
is a book of numbers that points back to scripture, points back to Jesus. And I always say Strong's Concordance is a resource that helps me put my puzzles together because I'm a puzzle prophet, right? So I get little puzzle pieces, I get to put them together, and then I get to show you the puzzle, <laughs> okay? So what's this puzzle? You on fire, okay? So 222 in Strong's Concordance Hebrew is flame of God. Okay, so then, girl on fire. So then I said, Lord, okay, well, this is a word. He's bringing it together. I know it's a word that I'm going to deliver. And I said, well, where's my scripture? So if you guys follow my channel, I will never deliver a word without a scripture. That's my own personal conviction. That's something me and the Lord have worked out. So he's, he's giving me a word. He's going to confirm that it's something that he's ready for me to deliver. It's something that's coming from him and I'm not prophesying out of my imagination. He's going to give me a, a scripture. Whether it's in my spirit, most of the time it's right in front of my face. Like he will physically, this is your scripture. That's your last puzzle piece. Get that word out. So I'm saying, well, where's my scripture at? So I'm sitting in my library doing something on the floor I think it was organizing books or something and I look down and there's an orange bracelet next to me okay so my daughter Rosalind probably found it somewhere and dropped it you know how kids do pick it up drop it wherever and so I pick it up and it's a bracelet that I had gotten from one of the instructors that I used to work with when I was teaching fitness classes and she has a ministry where she does her I believe it was Pio at the time she She's a fitness instructor and she merges in her faith with it. And so it's called uh, Soul Fire. Her, her ministry is called Soul Fire. Okay, so she made these orange bracelets. So her scripture reference to her ministry is Jeremiah 29. So this was the scripture the Lord said, here's your scripture, get it out. So it says, but if I say I'll never mention the Lord or speak in his name, the word burns my heart like a fire. It's like a fire in my bones. I am worn out and trying to hold it in. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I said, ooh, that's so right on time. That's so good. Such a good scripture, Laura. It's a good one to pick out for your ministry. Claps for you. All right, so what is the Lord saying? The Lord is saying he is looking for Christian women who are serious about kingdom business, okay? He's looking for those who will let God work through them. So how do you get on fire? What does it mean to be a girl on fire? It's a girl who surrendered to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost fire. You know what I mean? When you're just emptying yourself of yourself, well, what's going to fill you up? The Holy Spirit. Spirit of fire, guys. Like set a blaze. Set a blaze. He wants his, his, his Christian women to be on fire for him, okay? surrender to the Holy Spirit and they aren't trying to control how he works in them. That's really important. As Christian women, we're not trying to control the Holy Spirit and how he wants to work through us. Like I said, giving you an example, you guys, I don't like wearing the color red. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of makeup. Actually, I don't really wear any makeup besides my lip color, which really sets people off sometimes. Like that's just not really my personality, but there's a really specific reason why behind why the Lord's doing it. And at first I was really hesitant. Like, I don't really want to do that. Lord, I don't want to be online. I don't want to be back on social media. I don't want to be delivering, you know, yeah. I don't really want to do that. That doesn't really seem like something that I would be best fitted to do. And he said, Raven, I need you ch to stop trying to control how I'm going to use you. And by doing that, I feel very peaceful, very joyful. And I'm actually excited. I actually find like enjoyment with my, with my different prophetic lipstick shades. And it's been a lot of fun. I mean, that can, maybe that sounds kind of cheesy, but I enjoy working with the Lord. Like it's hard sometimes. I'm not saying you... When you, when you surrender to Jesus Christ, you guys, it's it's a hard walk for sure. Absolutely. And we're going to talk about that in further videos. Because if I didn't say it, I'm going to say it now. This is going to be a series. So make sure you're looking out for my Christian Women series. This is going to be something. My girl's on fire. We're going to we're gonna keep rolling with this as the Lord gives me words to deliver. Okay. But one of those is going to be about, um, yeah, like how to stay on fire, what it means to be on fire, and all of this and being surrendered to him. Okay. But I... And, uh, and how it is a challenging walk to be a girl on fire because you're set apart, right? When you're surrendered to the Holy Ghost, like you're set apart. It's not always the easiest walk, but you can find enjoyment in it. And by me just surrendering to the Holy Spirit and just saying, hey, 
you father knows best you know what's best you know where i best fit and if me my best fit right now is sitting in this car wearing a color that i don't even i don't, oh okay that's a good another confirmation that i didn't put in there you guys i never wear red i had to order red shirts so i ordered two red shirts because i said i don't wear red i i like i was going to the store trying to find stuff and i couldn't find anything so i just i hardly ever buy new clothes i just never do that i'm all about i'm all about you know bargain shopping and like thrift storing i said i'm gonna buy some some new red tops and the two that i bought every time that i either ordered them or they were delivered to my house both shirts including this one somebody emailed me one of my kingdom connections emailed me and we're saying hey i keep getting the song girl on fire by alicia keys kid you not couldn't make that stuff up. couldn't make that stuff up so I am not particularly a fan of wearing red but I said Lord if you want me to wear red I'll do it it's not even a huge deal right like but that's what I mean it, it's small it's the details the Lord wants you to be obedient in the small details that's it the Lord isn't always looking for radical sacrifice I was trying to you know go to a different country and and save save children out of sex trafficking I said I'm gonna sacrifice everything send me out there and he said, actually, what I need you to do is just sacrifice your pride and go back online and just do what I tell you to do. Do what I tell you to do. Be obedient to the small things and the big things. If I tell you to wear red nail polish, I need you to wear red nail polish. Okay? If I tell you to wear a red shirt, wear a red shirt. Okay? It's just really simple things, guys. He's looking for women who are just radically obedient. Okay? They're not trying to control how he wants to use them. Now, the Lord is never going to call you to do something that's sinful what I do is not sinful, right? But it's just not something that's like typically what I would choose to do. So be listening to him. What is he calling you to do? Okay. So they're not trying to control him. They're also, this is really important. You guys, they're not trying to suppress him with compromised living. So sinful living, living like the world, being halfway in their faith. We see that a lot, right? A lot of carnal Christians. I talked about this with the, some of my Jezebel I was talking about the Jezebel spirit, about how when I came back online, it was like a huge shock because a lot of Christian women who are in high positions for the Lord on high platforms, like their Instagram pages, they are, they look exactly like the world, especially uh, showing a lot of skin. You know, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but like on Instagram, it's like everybody wants to be an Instagram model. And I fell prey to that like 10 years ago. And then I was like, Lord's like, get off there. You ain't inspiring anybody to get off there. It seems like everybody wants to be like an Instagram model and like very seductive models. Nothing wrong with modeling. If you're a model, like we need models too, okay? But as a Christian woman, I mean, there's a way, there's a way to model, okay? And these women were, they were very seductive. They were being influenced by the Jezebel spirit and what they were doing is they were causing men to lust after them and women to fall into jealousy over them, okay? Like just compromise living, okay? They had beautiful bodies and they had some of the prettiest faces I've ever seen in my life and they knew it and they were using it in an impure way. There's nothing wrong with being beautiful. There's nothing wrong with having a hot bod. It's all about how you are showing that off to the world. Amen, sisters. Okay, so we're not doing compromised living. The Lord don't need any more Instagram models who are trying to seduce people. He don't need them. There's enough. What he needs, he needs women that are just willing to be obedient, okay? But also... They also aren't suppressing the Holy Spirit. Oh, oh, compromised living. They aren't trying to keep up with the Kardashians. <laughs> That's for somebody, all right. <laughs> or keeping up with the Kardashians are the lusts of the world, okay? And that could include maybe they're not being seductive with their flesh. So maybe they're not posting glute pictures or... Um, like we said, they're, they're showing a lot of cleavage. I see a lot of Christian women show flaunting cleavage to get more views. And that is not... That is not okay. And I'm going to let you guys know right now, it's not the religious spirit that's saying cover up your cleavage, okay? It's the Holy Spirit because the boobs and women's different parts of your body are, are some parts of your body as a woman should only be viewed by your husband. I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so we're not trying to seduce people with our physical appearance your lifestyle some of some women um online christian women are trying to seduce people with their lifestyle like look at me look at me in my balenciaga bag it's always the bees guys i just go after the bees the bmws and the balenciaga bags but they're trying to seduce you with their lifestyle there's nothing wrong with being wealthy there's nothing wrong with having nice things there's nothing wrong with dressing nice i love like my i'm gonna give her a shot right now katie <laughs> katie's my boss and she's definitely a girl on fire you guys and she looks like a million bucks 
every time she comes to work, okay? And the thing is, is I know she's tired because I call her Superwoman for a reason because she's like my boss, but she's also like taking care of her kids, you guys, loving her husband. This woman does a lot. And she takes the time and effort every single morning to get up and make herself look presentable. And she ain't trying to seduce anybody. She just looks she looks like a million dollars okay so there's absolutely nothing wrong with women looking nice i love it i love it when you ladies look nice in your pencil skirts or like you guys who can like contour your makeup and stuff like i think it looks phenomenal it's all about how you're you're flaunting it okay so a lot of these women are flaunting their lifestyles like look what i have and it's a form of trying to get people to lust after their lifestyle and that's sinful okay it's simple uh and they're compromised. Basically what it means is they're compromised and God, Jesus, compromised Christians go to heaven. Jesus Christ has a hard time using them to get other people into heaven. We are girls on fire. We're getting people into heaven, okay? We're, we're not suppressing the Holy Spirit by living a compromised lifestyle. We're gonna let him flow through us, amen? And girls on fire also aren't held bondage. Let's go to the other extreme. That's one extreme, trying to keep up with our Kardashians. Let's go to the other extreme where Christian women often uh, get get uh, tripped up, okay? And that's, uh, they aren't held bondage to the religious spirit that prevents them, many Christian women, from burning on fire for the Lord. So legalism, okay? So some Christian women are influenced by the Jezebel spirit, seduction, okay? Trying to use their beauty in all the wrong ways. Nothing wrong with being beautiful. Some of you got, many of you have Esther anointings on your lives. You, you guys are familiar with the book of Esther. You guys, Esther got her position because she won the beauty contest. She was hot, all right? But she didn't flaunt her beauty. It was just there. People took notice. You're gorgeous for the Lord. You don't have to flaunt it. People are going to see it, okay? Be humble with your beauty. You don't have to hide it. People who are women who fall into the camp of legalism, they're trying to hide their beauty or like suppress it, okay? Like they're, give you some examples, not limited to, um, the religious spirit will tell them they can't dye their hair, they can't wear makeup, they can't wear a certain kind of clothing, they they just they can't have they can't have nice things, okay? It's trying to suppress the Holy Spirit. We gotta find balance as Christian women, okay? Where we're not trying to seduce somebody else's husband or make women jealous because of our BBLs and Botox and puff you know, all these cosmetic surgeries that we don't necessarily need. And I will throw this out there for some of you guys because there was a woman, forgive me, I'm going to do maybe a little touch of rambling on this word because I am talking to a lot of you. So let's let the Holy Spirit flow, okay? There was a woman, I, I made a comment about BBLs, Botox, and BMWs, just the Bs, right? Categorize them. If you have a BMW, like that, just it's just something I say. It's supposed to be kind of funny, but don't get down on yourself. As she was asking about Botox, she said, I've had Botox, is it a sin to get it? And I might do a whole video on plastic surgery and stuff sometime, but the answer to short is no. Okay, Cos cosmetic surgery, whether it's Botox, I would absolutely 100% never suggest somebody get a BBL. As somebody who is in the fitness industry, don't mess with muscle. The good thing about the booty, guys, is it can grow, okay? Don't mess with your butts. Don't do that kind of stuff. I'm just saying there's been... Go watch Botch. There's been some really bad experiences with that. But when it comes to like Botox or maybe like lip injections or just things that plastic surgery stuff, maybe like even like, you know, like breast augmentations, different things like that. Guys, that's going to be between you and the Lord and your husband. Okay. Don't get, let's not, let's not try to take extreme sides with that. That's going to be between you and the Lord and your husband, okay? The number one thing that I always tell women is check your motive behind doing it. Check your motive behind doing it. That's always gonna be worth it. If you're wanting to get it so that you can seduce other men's other women's husbands, because if it's not your husband, somebody else's, right? Even if they're not married yet, don't, then it's wrong, okay? If you are trying to get plastic surgery because you think it's gonna make you happier or make you love yourself more, you guys, our identity comes in Jesus Christ, okay? Physical appearance is just, it's important, but do the inner work first to make sure that you're not trying to place your identity in your nose job, okay? Number three, you're not trying to make other women jealous. If you are getting plastic surgery because you want to flaunt it off and try to make other women jealous, that is a very impure reason for doing that, 
okay? Or you're trying to, like I said, keep up with the Kardashians, if you're trying to keep up with unrealistic beauty standards, those are all really bad reasons, and you're ultimately going to be spending a lot of money on something that is not gonna make you feel any better. Okay, I'm not saying that to condemn anybody at all. I'm being honest with you. It's not going to make you feel better. But like, let's take it to the Lord, okay? I think I am gonna eventually like, do more research into that, pray on that, maybe we could talk about that more. But me personally, the Lord has told me that I am not to mess with my face, okay? Don't think that I haven't thought about it, especially if you guys, uh, this video is going to be connect is in connection with my other video. My, I did the, I did, we started, we're starting the girl on fire series. We're also starting the cougar series and I have been given a kingdom marriage promise and my kingdom husband is a bit younger than me. Okay. So that had me, that had me acting up in a bit. All right. And I, it brought out some insecurities I didn't know I have. So if you didn't think, don't think that I didn't entertain the thought of like plastic surgery for a short, a hot minute, it did happen, but the Lord worked that out of me. He said, no, stop. It's really important that I don't, uh, as somebody who's working for the kingdom of God, that I'm not taking ministry money and spending it on unrealistic cosmetics like that. Number, like I need, I have to be really intentional about how I spend my money, especially if it's coming from from people who are investing into my ministry you guys like I'm not I'm not gonna spend your money on Botox boob jobs BML be, be it really expensive cars or anything like that okay but it's also the Lord it's really important that I come to you with flaws he's told me that before he's like that's why I eat too when I do my shorts and it like zooms way up on my face I said I don't want to do this they can see my chipped teeth and everything he's like they need to <laughs> it's important that you can see my flaws physically and spiritually okay I'm not trying to be a perfect person but I do try to take care of myself so this is the real me uh, unfiltered and that's something that um, was really important for my channel we all have different convictions let's continue on <laughs> all right so it's important that we're finding balance women okay and we're letting the Holy Spirit just flow through us that's how we're gonna be of greatest use to the kingdom of God okay letting go of that control all right, now this is gonna be for a select few of you, okay? So there's my girls on fire. That can be any Christian women under the sun. If you're a Christian woman, you can be a girl on fire, amen? This is going to be for those of you who have been promised a kingdom marriage, okay? So you have a kingdom man. So I'm actually doing a kingdom man series too. So you girls on fires, many of you are getting linked up with kingdom men, okay? You guys are gonna do some serious kingdom business down here. So I said, yeah, girls on fire being paired with kingdom men. Okay, so Genesis 222 for girls on fire, that's the flame of God, right? Set ablaze for the Lord, but it can also be Genesis 222. So that's gonna be the scripture about Adam and Eve, okay? Eve is the helpmate, so you're a girl on fire. You need to be set ablaze for the Lord so you can be a best use to the kingdom of God, so you can be a best use to your husband because he's gonna be your main ministry on earth. If you guys didn't know that, uh, as a Christian woman, once you are married, your main mission, like your number one priority relationship is with Jesus Christ. Your next relationship will be with your husband and supporting his mission. Okay, so you need to be on fire for the Lord, surrendered to the Holy Spirit, flowing so that you can help your husband's ministry. Many of you are in the five, if not all of you are some form or function in the five-fold ministry. So a lot of you are going to be married to pastors and prophets and apostles and evangelists and teachers or men in high positions. Like, you need to be listening to the Holy Spirit to help them, okay? Especially like that fire, like protection, you guys. Psalms 91, be praying that over you, your husband, and your and your kingdom marriage because the enemy is not happy about these power couples coming together, okay? So instruction for girls on fires. So the kingdom women, uh, I call you guys like the kingdom wives. We've talked about this in other videos, uh, wearing red, like the Lord is redeeming the red dress. There's a reason why he wants a lot of us wearing red. Uh, it's to show our agape sacrificial love to our husbands. We're taking back the color red. In society, oftentimes it's been associated with seduction. Um, and the Lord's like, no, red is my color. I'm taking that back. It's about sacrifice, like his blood on the cross. Like the ultimate illustration of what agape sacrificial love looks like is Jesus Christ bleeding on that cross, okay? We wear red to represent that we are trying to imitate his agape sacrificial love to our husbands, okay? And obviously to the rest of the world, but primarily on the kingdom journey to our husbands, okay? So instructions, ladies, if you're a kingdom wife, the Lord's instructing you to wear red. Guys, I'm not the biggest fan of red, okay? But he's got me wearing red, so let's wear red. 
and um, girls on fire if you feel led wear some red too and tell people why you're wearing red like I'm burning hot for Jesus Christ like that's why I'm wearing red I'm a flame oh that was another one too uh, you guys Katniss when I was getting all my clues together I kept getting Katniss Everdeen you guys seen the Hunger Games okay she's they call her the girl on fire and you know what I love about Katniss um, this ties into what the Lord is saying is a balance and she's not she's not sexualized she's not overly sexualized but like she's hot like she's she's burning hot with a mission you know what I mean she has a mission and she's uh she's sacrificial you know she sacrificed uh her life for her sister okay so she's she's functioning in like sacrificial love okay and she's mission focused and that's what you are doing sacrificial love and your mission focused okay she didn't need to flaunt her stuff she's just beautiful because of who she was People loved her, you know, after that, Jennifer Lawrence, after she did that, like, they loved her. I think it's specifically for that role in that movie. Like, they just, they loved her. She wasn't, like, this, uh, you know, your most conventional, you know, women in Hollywood, if that makes sense. She was just herself. She was her natural self. I think she's kind of, you know, Hollywood's taken a hit on her since then. But when she first came out, a lot of people loved her just because she was her authentic self. Be your authentic self. How do you become your authentic self? Get close to Jesus Christ because you know that burning fire. Let's talk about fire. You come to Jesus Christ, he's refining you in fire. He's building your character. He's enhancing you. You don't need plastic surgery to enhance you guys. Let the Holy Spirit do it. Amen. All right. So let's get a scripture in here. Another one. Um, oh, actually, that's for the next one. I'm starting to read on my my next girl's on fire hold up that'll be next time we had our scripture our scripture reference which was jeremiah brought to you by soul fire okay so in all of these videos this is kind of my vision it might change going forward but what i'm going to try to do is i want to do a shout out so i want to shout out some some people that i can see as girls on fire they're burning hot for the lord specifically ministry not limited to so I don't uh, follow a ton of women in ministry online because the Lord controls my algorithm, but just certain women who I can see are just set ablaze, being obedient to the Father. And then I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. Okay, so it's going to be fun. We're going to make this fun. Okay, Girls on Fire. All right, so first shout out, Girl on Fire. Roslyn, my daughter. Now, she's not in ministry, but someday I believe she will be. And when I was putting this word together, she would always go around the house going, this girl is on fire. You guys, one day, introduction to my daughter. She is fearless. She's got a big personality, all right? She's got a big personality. And when she's just, she's not shy at all. Neither one of my kids are shy, okay? And she's just a lot. She's coming. She's coming full speed. I got to refine that out. But she's a girl on fire for sure, okay? She's already been through, like, she's already going through a refining process, just some of the things that she's undergone in her short little life. But she loves that song. I'm like, this girl's a girl on fire. I'm raising, I'm raising a girl on fire. I'm raising a kingdom man, Prince Augustus, and I'm raising a girl on fire. I'm going to need your prayers. Send me your prayers, okay? And then next we got Lana. So Vlad's wife. You guys hungry with uh familiar with Hungry Generation? I cannot say their last name because I'm so American and they are from another country. But she's just killing it over there. You guys, she's her and her husband, she is just she's a girl on fire and she knows what she was called to do, which is support support her man, okay? Her kingdom man. All right, we got Shannon over there at Prophetic Marriage Ministries. And she's also got a new channel, too. So you'll have to go check that out. The Lord's uh, been transitioning her into uh, a new chapter as well, into a new ministry. But she has helped me a lot in regards to my own kingdom marriage. And every time she comes online, she's coming on with fire, you guys. I don't know how many times I've been, like, <gasps> in a bad place. And then she pops up and I'm like, she's just like, Phew! I'm like, whoa. I feel I feel pumped up. I feel encouraged because she's letting the Holy Spirit just flow through her, right? She's just doing it, all right? My girl, Daily Grace, she's over there killing it too. She's coming on. And uh, I love the different personalities of people. You know, Shannon, she's, I would say a lot. <laughs> she's pumped up. You know, Daily Grace, she's a little bit more calmer, but the fire is still there. Do you know what I mean? The fire, when I talk about a blaze, you guys, it doesn't mean like, you have to be extremely extroverted or something like that. No, like you can be uh, more soft-spoken, you can be more introverted, and you can still be a blazing fire, okay? Remember that. All right, so thank you. 
thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. And then uh, another one the Lord put on my heart this morning, right in this morning, is uh, Crown Jewel over there. She's got her ministry, and she's a she's a businesswoman too, you guys. So she's got her ministry, she's got her business, and she's just she's doing a lot. And she may, and she, they're all all of them are. Uh, these ministry women, these women in ministry who um, all have kingdom husbands. So that's why I wanted to highlight them as well as they're, they're girls on fire and they're also kingdom wives and they're so they're burning hot for their husbands as well and supporting them. And uh, Crown Jewel, she's a she's a businesswoman as well. So she's running a business and she's still making time to get online and she's a, she's definitely going to be a treasure for the husband of hers. Amen. Amen. All right. But yeah, and I want to see you ladies, Daily Grace, Crown Jewel, Shannon, I want to see you guys wear some red. <laughs> I want to see you guys in some red, amen? Okay, so my giveaway. So this is what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to make a post of this. It's going to say something, people will probably be confused, it'll be something to do with royal. Okay, this is a perfume. So there's actually a lady uh, in my area who makes these perfumes. So this is a small business because... Uh, I do, did I shout out? I gotta do a small business after this, so make sure you stick around after this, okay? Cause I got another, I got another thing I need to add in there. But I'm promoting small businesses. The Lord is prompting a lot of Christians to start up small businesses and he wants to take back the small business. Okay, he's talking about territory. So everything that I give, I'm gonna try to do some kind of small business, okay? So this is a perfume and it's called Royal, all right? It's um, Katie Cloud, she does it, so she's a, she lives around here. She makes candles and stuff. And she's actually like pretty legit. I think she's like comparable to Yankee Candle. But this perfume is smells really delicious. Okay, really good quality perfume, and it's royal. So a lot of you ladies, especially if you're Esther's, you have royal anointings on your life. So you a queen. So queen, come get your perfume. All right. So I'm gonna post this on. What I want you to do. Go to my community board, the first woman who does this. You go to my community board where this is posted. You're going to see this picture and you're going to post on there who your favorite girl on fire or a girl on fire. I should say your favorite, but a girl on fire who inspires you. So this could be a woman in ministry or this could be a woman in your life. So it could be your mom. It could be your sister. It could be your best friend. What girl on fire uh, gives you confidence to, you know, be more pumped up, okay? So tell me who your favorite one is and then send me your address. Okay, so I'm gonna need somewhere to send this. Send me your address. The first person I see who does it, I'm gonna comment back and I'm gonna say, got it, all right? And then after I say, got it, if you wanna delete that so nobody can send you love letters, <laughs> then you can delete it, okay? And then I will post who, uh, who won it so you guys know that there was a winner and I will send it to you. Now, if I get a better system down, I will do that, but right now I don't have any way of you guys directly contacting me, so we're going to use my community board until we get a better strategy. Okay, with that as well, so the Lord has prompted me to turn off my YouTube ads, okay, and instead he wants me to promote small Christian businesses for free. So if you are a small Christian business, you're a woman, I would, if you will make, you make candles, cosmetics, something like that, please send me them. Please let me advertise them, okay? So I'm gonna promote small Christian businesses for free. So today we are, our ad of the day is going to be Melanie from Lifted Life Teas. Now I'm going to add her store in this description box below and I'm also gonna make a post on my community page. So she makes, ladies, she makes a gym apparel. So this is a tank top and it says fearless, okay? Like I said, I'll get a picture of it or some of her stuff on my community page. And then there's a scripture on the back. And I love, I love scriptures or just writing on the back of t-shirts. I'm like, don't want anything on the front that much or something small or basic like this. And then I want like a lot on the back. That's just how I roll. So this was perfect. Thank you so much. And so her story is you guys, she was battling some health con conditions. She was just bad relationships. Like the enemy was just trying to come at her, right? The world and the enemy was trying to take her out and then the Lord chased her down. He delivered her up from that. So he put the desire on her, her heart to start seeking out a healthier lifestyle. So she's began exercising. Okay, so the Lord did that miraculous work in her life and he started restoring her, um, her health, okay? So she accredits Jesus Christ 
to delivering her up and getting her in a better place in her life, but also the prompting that he gave her to start exercising. And I know that's a thing from the Holy Spirit, you guys. He wants the body of Christ healthier. He wants us more active. That was one of the first convictions he gave me when I became a born-again believer. Get up in the gym, start eating better. Okay, so girls on fire. What did I actually put? Okay. This is what this is what he had me write down. I thought it was so good. Okay, so it says, "You want to be fit to carry the flame of God, you're going to have to start exercising." You're going to have to start exercising your physical body. That's just what's going to happen. And no better way of doing it than with some awesome Christian fitness apparel. Amen. You guys feel like when you get a new fitness outfit, it just makes you want to go work out. I do. I, I get a new fitness outfit, new tank. New, actually, I usually wear more like me in the gym. I'm like long sleeves and stuff. But when I get a new fitness, new shoes, new shoes is usually my go-to. When I get new shoes, I'm like, let's go deadlift. Let's go deadlift all day long. <laughs> so I know that uh, as women, sometimes just like a nice new outfit really gets us pumped up and encouraged and... Uh, we need to start working out. We need to start working out. Okay, we need to be fit to carry that flame. We need to be fit to um, support our husbands and keep up with their ministry, okay? And I, like I said, deadlift guys, like I, I was in the military for a season. I used to like basically work out like a man. <laughs> The Lord's softening me out. He is like physically too. That's a funny thing that we can talk about sometime about how he's making me act like more like a lady. But I used to do uh, more kind of manly workouts. But fitness is very broad. So find something that you like, you enjoy, something you can be consistent in. Uh, lifting weights. All women should lift weights. You know you don't have to go be a CrossFitter if that's what you're into. Go for it. But I can let you know right now, lifting weights, you are not going to get bulging biceps. I tried for those for a long time. And it takes a lot of work. Okay, so don't be afraid of getting too much muscle. But lifting weights is very beneficial for women. Okay. Um, any kind of cardio, so walking, power walking is like my go-to now. Swimming is really great. Pilates, I encourage all women to do Pilates. I was a Pilates teacher for a season. Maybe the Lord will open that back up down the road. But so many testimonies of women who do Pilates, low impact, just really great for the body, especially if you've had children, okay? I, I am against yoga. I do not endorse yoga. I don't... In, uh, play with anything new age so different convictions there if that's something the Lord hasn't convicted you about that's okay but I will never promote yoga ever or anything new age on my channel okay but we need to be fit so go check her stuff out go get yourself a new t-shirt and get yourself excited about being fit to carry the flame of the Lord okay and also guys I am a ministry so I'm, I'm a part of the fivefold ministry. I'm a prophetic voice for the Lord. So if you ever felt led to invest into my ministry, I do have the payment options below. The Lord did say uh, he thought it was a good idea for me to be up on social media. So I got the Instagram and the Tiki Talkie now. So those are below too if you're into that. Uh, it is a bit it is biblical to invest into those who are serving I have talked about that before but pretty much in summary I work full-time for the king so he does allow me to make money from those of you who feel led to invest into me so that I can basically survive okay <laughs> so I said said in my last video don't worry I ain't gonna spend your money on Botox or any of that all right but um, I will use it to you know keep my office going gas <laughs> okay so uh it, the gospel message is always always free prophecies are never for sale don't forget this you guys okay because it's always you should always feel joyful if you feel joyful about investing into somebody's ministry jesus loves a, a cheerful giver feel cheerful about it okay but it does take uh, money as a tool and it does take money to keep the mission moving forward to keep the body of christ moving at a healthy pace okay but it's always an option so ladies let the lord set you ablaze by being just completely sold out for jesus christ and surrendered to the holy spirit and saying lord here i am send me lord here i am what is it that you want me to do amen <laughs>